everything about you is completely unique. You are one of a kind. And I don't just mean that in like a Mr. Rogers sort of way. You are completely unique. And if you don't believe me, just look around. Is there anyone who's exactly like you? No. And there are a lot of people in the world. So why is that? Now, all of your physical characteristics are called traits, and there are two types of traits. They're either acquired traits or inherited traits. Now, inherited traits are the ones that you get from your biological parents. So let's look at those first. All right, so you look the way you do because you receive traits from both of your biological parents. When two people reproduce, they both give 50% of their genes to their child. So why do you look the way you do? Well, we can use this deck of cards to help see. When two people make a child, they take 50% of their genes, 50% of their genes, and they get shuffled together. So they get put in an order to make you look the way you do. But if those two people were to make another child, their genes would be shuffled again. Now it's still the same genes, so there's gonna be some similarities, but it's not gonna be shuffled in the same exact way. That's why siblings look alike, but not exactly the same. This would look nicer if I could actually shuffle cards well. Okay, so inherited traits are things that you get from your biological parents, but what about acquired traits? Acquired traits are things that you get from your environment, like a scar from falling down riding your bicycle, or maybe it's something that you practice at a lot and get really good at. For example, my father is really good at a board game called Backgammon, but I'm not very good at that game because being good at a board game isn't a trait that can be passed down from parent to child. For me to be good at that game, I would have to practice a lot. I would have to acquire that trait. That's what we call them, acquired traits. Okay, so acquired traits can't be passed down to your kids. Things like juggling a soccer ball, you can't pass that down to your kids. That is an acquired trait. So juggling the ball is an acquired trait, but your hair color is an inherited trait. Spinning a ball is an acquired trait, whereas your eye color is an inherited trait. So something like juggling the soccer ball isn't inside of your body already. So what do I mean when I say inside your body. All right, so think about the traits that can be passed down to children. Hair texture, eye color, skin color, all of these things are inherited traits. All of these things are inherited traits and they're in your body. They're in your DNA and your DNA is made up of genes. So what exactly are genes? Well, you can think of genes kind of like the recipes in a cookbook. It tells your body exactly what it's going to look like. The only difference is a cookbook might have a few recipes in it, but your body is full of trillions of cells, and each cell has about 20,000 genes. That's a lot of recipes. All of those recipes decide what you look like. Okay, so let's recap. Your traits are either acquired or inherited. Inherited traits are things that can be passed down from biological parent to their children, while acquired traits are things that you get from your environment, things that cannot be passed on from parent to child. You have to acquire those traits yourself. Well, that's it for this episode, everyone. But next time you're feeling down about yourself, just remember you are special and unique. And that's not just me saying it. It's just science. Bye, beautiful people.